Hey, welcome back to Papa's Custom Cars. Good to see you all again. Uh, new Year started, so we got a new video coming out soon. Hopefully the snow stops in Utah, but uh, got a little bit of a project today. We're working on the Mustang, so stay tuned and we'll get into it right away. So as I was saying in the intro, uh, we're working on the Mustang today. There's a uh, trunk, little trunk piece of plastic that uh, goes on the uh, trunks of the Mustang that holds the latch it locks on. And this piece of plastic has a tendency to break and or uh, just go bad. They do sell just the plastic, but the one that I've got on there, the whole mechanism is looking pretty, pretty sad. So I figured I'd replace the whole thing. So today that's what we're going to be doing is replacing that. So that uh, we can close the close the, the hatch and it locks and stays locked. Uh, the last fix I did with is with it was I took a piece of rubber hose and I put it. It was about the same size. I put it over the top of it, squeezed it on there with a little uh, uh, Teflon, and then that kind of got it over the little thing. And it's worked so well uh, well for a while. But what's happening is the rubber is is uh, squishy. So after a while that doesn't it doesn't uh, doesn't want to close right so you really got to slam it so I found this on the web um, it's a replacement unit for the whole thing and they sell the plastic too uh, I did want to replace the whole thing because it is kind of marred up so that's what we're going to be working on today so hang tight and I'll get the camera all set up and we'll go to work on the Mustang uh, not a lot else going on I'll just uh, throw in there real quick uh, we have had snow for the last couple of days, and it's that hard, wet, icky snow. I am glad the snowblower is gone, and I've got the tractor because that thing pushes the snow real well. Um, it is pause attraction. I put chains on it. Um, but I'll go through some of the things that I had to do with that uh, because a lot of the folks that uh, are watching the videos on the Arnold Blade uh, will want to see that, so I want to separate that out. So let's get to work on the Mustang. and. Uh, We'll definitely get things going. Let's get the tools. I need this goofy little star uh, ratchet, and I'm going to need a big ratchet for it. So we'll get the camera all set up so that you guys can see, um, and we'll get going on it so that the Mustang's ready for spring. Okay, so the part we need is down right in here, and the lock comes down and catches in here. So in order to get to it, at least we've got to remove this cover because it's blocking our ability to get a uh, wrench in there. Actually, it's a star. It's not a wrench wrench. There's two screws up here holding this piece on. I got to pull these screws first. Hopefully, it looks like the lighting is good enough for you. It's a lot darker in here than it is there, so at least the camera's doing what it's supposed to do. Okay. There's just some long Phillips trim screws, so you better pull these two. This is kind of any hatchback, 80s hatchback, they're going to have the same setup. Um, so you can, you don't have to buy one from the Mustang place. Um, that way you're not paying a million dollars for the thing. And it should be good enough to get a Get a ratchet on there. And she is tight too, so be prepared. But as you can see, what I did was I wrapped a piece of plastic around it. Well, it's actually a piece of hose. And it worked for a while, uh, just not long enough to make it work well. And then your the replacement is just a plastic collar. Looks like the assembly is a lot smaller. This part doesn't appear to come apart, which definitely makes it harder. So put that one aside and replace it with this one. 
get this bolt started. Pretty simple work today. That's because I got to spend four hours today. About, about three hours. Uh, doing the driveways in the neighborhood. Uh, quite a few of my neighbors own a snowblower and today was wet, wet, wet snow. Is what had happened is last night it rained after it snowed. But it wasn't a it was a light drizzle, so it just managed to make things a mess. Because I do show the car, I do have the light turned off in here. Um, mainly because if I didn't it would wear the battery down. Poor Mustang is filthy along with the fair lane. Everything in here is all dusty and dirty from all the electrical work we were doing. Okay. That's that. And she's replaced. I'll show you real quick on the inside. Let me grab the camera off here. Okay, as you can see, it's, this is replaced. Like I said, with the old one. There it is. I had just wrapped a rubber piece of rubber around it, and as you can see, it got finally collapsed. So I broke down and spent the 20 bucks to buy the new piece. It's all in there and all good. So we'll test it and make sure everything's working right. So let me back you up a little bit here. I also got a new camera stand. It's a full on tripod, which is nice. All right, let me pull the tools out real quick. When she closes, she closes for good. Let's see if I can't get this apart because this washer is bigger than the one that's on it. Not sure if it makes any difference, but that will better to know for sure. Okay, got the keys. Yes, I do. We'll go ahead and close her down and we'll know if it works right if it closes. Okay, so it's going to need to be adjusted or something's holding it from closing all the way. Make sure everything's out of the way. Da, 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 da. That's that, that's that. Okay. Still not closing, so it's not catching it. So it needs to be adjusted up. So easy enough to do. Go ahead and pull the screws again. Didn't look to see if there was adjustability. It is catching right in the center, though. I can see little scratches on it. Well, that's a good thing. Of course, I've got all my car show stuff in here. Got to have your lawn chair, your detailed toolbox, the regular toolbox. Okay. Got the ratchet. Yep, it adjusts up and down. So we'll find the spot where it was by looking at where the indents were from before. And then we'll. Okay. All right. Well, let's give it another test. See if she closes. Where are the keys first? Make sure I've still got them before I close it all the way. Whoa. 
Angela. And she's closed. And that's all there is to it. So just so make sure you double check and you can see where it was before because there's a mark left from the old one. I put these keys in my pocket so I don't lock them in the car and have to crawl through and get them. Put my screws back in. So this is the an 83 Mustang GT, 80,000 original miles. Uh, my dad bought it for my mom on her wedding anniversary, and when dad passed, mom was looking to sell the car, had been looking to sell the car for a few years. And uh, so instead of taking a Model A, I took this one. Yeah, it fits more in with what I've got around you, as you see. What's funny about it is we've got that 78 Pinto out back, and this one, a lot like a Pinto. All right, so let's give it a final close, make sure everything's good. Yep, sure is. Closes a lot easier than it ever did before. So that's it. That's that for that. Look how filthy this poor car is. So that'll wrap up this week's video. But it's going to be the same. You, I will be coming back probably to adjust because there's a little bit of a, a bigger gap in here than I would like along the bottom edge. Um, so I'll have to have to check it when I've got room in here. Right now I'm working in the garage and I've got about two feet behind it. So for now this will do. So on that repair, you are going to need a T45 star bit. I guess that's what it's called or whatever it might be called, but it's the little star thing, star-shaped thing. You will need a T45. Um, I would suggest prob possibly a breaker bar. But the issue with this one is this washer does not come off uh, very easily of this nut. It just keeps trying to come off. So uh, odds are they made this so that uh, you can't get it apart. Now the new one, this does come apart. So I may end up trying to get this apart and using this washer. This washer is larger than the one that's on there. Although that one works, this one is the original piece. Um, but the reason I ordered the whole thing was because I could not get this apart. So if you have any tips or tricks or you've taken one of these apart, definitely let me know. Um, that way I can take this one apart. I'll probably have to grab it and uh, in the vise and rip it out of there. But uh, That'll do it for today. That's about all I've got. Uh, the only other thing I did today was work on that uh, plow. Um, and I will do a video on that one here in a little bit, basically running through what I ran into today. Um, but with that, that's all I've got for you today. It's a short video, so it'll make it quick and easy for you. Everybody, do me a favor, like, share, and subscribe. Please like. I'm not getting enough likes out there. Um, I'm uh, almost 300 subscribers, and I need to get to 500. So if you know anybody, share. Share the page with them if you have anything you want to know how to do. Um, I've done a lot on the Nova body work wise already, done the motor already, did the transmission already. Didn't really go into real detail on the motor and what was there. Didn't film a lot of it or it's just not uh, edited. It's on, the, it's on my page so you can go back and look at it. But uh, definitely let me know. Uh, we do need to get that brake booster pulled off and we do need to get the uh, the power cables and everything run from the battery. We're going to reroute those through the car itself. It is one out wire, so I'm not really worried about it causing any problems. But I do want to shut off switch inside the car um, along with a uh, flip switch on a solenoid to power the car too using one of the old school Ford type solenoids. And I've got an extra one of those. So uh, anything you'd like to see or hear or know, uh, definitely shoot me a note. Definitely appreciate the feedback. Um, lots of feedback on the electrical stuff that I've done in the garage. There are a few more things I have decided I'm going to do since then. Um, I bought some channels with outlets in them that I want to mount along the ceiling. Um, that'll run off 110, and that's for little trickle chargers for the cars, and that way I can drop down um, the wires from the ceiling as opposed to running extension cord across the floor to get to get to the center of the garage. 
Um, with that, everybody have a great weekend. Uh, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for following along. And I'll see you on the next one.